Hey everyone, sorry I've been um, away for ages. I'm just going to do this tutorial on this look. It's just my regular going out look. You know, winged out eyeliner, bronzy eye. Normally I do use a very pink lip, but I'm playing it safe at the moment, but I probably might change it to Chanel Jamil before I go out. So I will show you what I'm wearing in this in case you're wondering. My nail polish is Metro Chic by OKI, sponsored by OKI the Angel. And I will try and put some outfit with, you know, outfits in there. Final touches at the end if there is time. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. I wanted to do a tutorial today. Um, I'm not doing it on my proper video camera thing because it wouldn't be pretty. I'm bad enough without makeup. Mm. Um, I'm going out tonight so I wanted to show you a going out look that I do. I did want to do my new lip tar which is amazing uh, and I normally do like a really bright pink lip and then really easy eyes for a night out. It's just effortless but um, it's more casual tonight so excuse this on my face, sorry this on my face and then I've got something here as well. I get bored at work and like I pick this. It's not even a spot. That one is. Mm. So I'm just wearing my hair straight tonight. I can't be bothered to curl it or anything like I normally do when I go out. So let's get started. I should probably pin my fringe up, but I don't want to get a kink in it. So I don't even know what I'm going to do to be honest. I'm probably going to use my Pleasures of Kairos palette. Um, first things first is primer. This is Benefits Stay Don't Stray. Um, I haven't shown this in a haul. I, I did record a haul before I went to Spain, but I've been too lazy to upload it. So, what is this? This is um, a Sugar Fury. I've got a shit ton of makeup down here. I love this crab. So, I've got my MAC Bronze. I love MAC. I love this shade. Mm, I might go for a bronze look. I might use bronze and then some of this, which is this Bev from Mia um, Mia. So we'll do that. Okay. Just using my two thirty nine um, bronze eyeshadow. Micro pick. Bring it all over my eyes. I'm not a fan of doing one eye and then the other. I always cock it up when I do this. And then just fade that line out a little bit. Uh, and then just using a bit of the Fez, which is the lighter one. I'm not a massive fan of really dark colours, to be honest, on my eyes. And then just using like a number seven brush. And just pushing it into my crease. If this video ends up below 10 minutes it'll be a miracle because I doubt it will. Anyway, make me partner and I won't. <laughs> I can go for one month. Anyway, subtle villain of the game for me. I look, I might add a bit more of the dark corner in there. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of this and it's like um, a brown with gold through it. Cordora, is it? A demon lover. No, it's Cordora, this one. Just put a little bit of this kind of near the centre. Just in case. Ah. I would say in my life, it's my aim to be a golden goddess, as well as a beautiful vicar. So that's basically done. I keep it really simple on my eyes. I can never remember the name of colours. Brule. Bit of brule on this here. That's my this is a cheat sheet for by the way. Um just simple. Brilliant forever edit because it's already at 12 minutes. I do my eyebrows before I do my eyes. I hate the look of myself with the eyebrows that are round. Although they do look quite dark here. The light is just going on. The sun. So this is a MAC Brow 
happen so you don't feel like I've ruined the project so you can thank me for doing that so then I just finish up with this spoon throughout and then film and for me it's not picky and silly enough to do my brows properly so I just use a gloss off for a moment Next I'm using my steel smudge palette, this is just the black one. I want a brown eyeliner, a brown gel eyeliner. That is my aim and I can't find one. I think I'm going to go for a makeup powder now first. And I'm using a Benefit Get Bent eyeliner powder. So it's in the Mac 210 which I got to the bank. I need to get to the bank. Make is quite old now, so getting a bit harder to work with, but you know, yeah, it will keep on going. And I just draw my fleck like so. I always neaten it up later, so if you think it's crap, it does get neatened up, and then you fall it across. Basically the shape I go for. Just trying to give it like the same. There we go. Finally, I can use my fat brush. It's efficient. And I ask if no. I can draw a bit. I'm currently between like two mascaras at the moment. My L'Oreal Volumini and my Max Factor Fast Lash Effects. I don't like both spray paint. Oh, I need to find my eyeliner. I've got a bit of an ashes. I'll do another coat when I'm finished with the face. I'm gonna have to do some major coveraging. Okay, okay, okay. My primer at the moment I'm using is the L'Oreal Secrets Studio One. I'm just using this under my eyes by the way, and I can use a different one for this little thing. I love the texture of this. This is like a matted eyeliner from Peter Thomas Block. Um, not used it before. Well, I put two concealers on my eyes this time and a background. I used Benefit Erase Case, which is number two. It's very, very pink toned, so it's not really doing much of a job. Uh, except for I use it on top of the thing. Right, my foundation. Because obviously my neck is a different colour from my face, so I have to kind of adapt it. So I'll be using Sheer Glow and my matte face and body. This is M5, this is Gobi, which is far too light for me anyway, but I love Sheer Glow. So I had you look a little off on my pencil, my eyebrow pencil that's in here. Then what I like to do is just get my powder brush from e.l.f. Take any that I show you and just really work it in. In my day to day, I definitely don't wear this much makeup. This is night out makeup. Um, it was requested that I do some daytime looks, um, which I'm happy to do, but my face I'm not I'm not technically being assistant I'm here to just set up Siobhan not have to be bothered to Siobhan and then that's it for the day I don't tend to touch up my makeup like that I'm awfully lazy I use a little bit of my Make It Forever Full Cover under my eyes again because I'm paranoid as to how long I'm going to look Oh, I did, I did, I did. Okay, all the 
really be crying before. Tom Hanks. He's done so many things. Done. Let me circles. What? Wait. My back. Ooh. I forgot to eat salad tonight, so I'm using a bun to another cell, which I have got that in the bins. I don't have one anymore. Nice. 109. I do have quite the cheekbones, I'm trying to just pick a side. I do have quite the fine cheekbones, so they'll be hoping I can get a bit more hair back in. Get some more cheeks in that bun. This is Rich Coral Cream Colour Base. You won't be able to see how many I've done from today, it's only going to be like a couple of bags in. So I'll just do that with my fingers really. Under my eyes, I use my Laura Mercier Contour Brightening Foundation. I'm not going to take a photo for it anymore. I'm a bit weird and I don't put mascara under my eyes ever because all it ever does on me is it never adds a load, it never is waterproof. Every single time I get trying to stay under my eyes and I prefer no eyelashes than ones that you know run right next. I'm going to use some Bare Minerals powder and matte powder just to mattify my face so it gets a bit more okay. Um, it warms up my face as well so it doesn't look not too much. Next a bit of white deep Brush on my prescriptors brush a brush. I'm just using the lighter side. Okay. I'm gonna use my Chanel bronzer. It's all broken and whatnot. It's like um this is a one seven eight seven. Just one of the special edition ones from the UK that some people can come by. I hate this brush, by the way. I think it's one color. The problem is the way the light is, you can't actually see any of the color that I'm putting on. Then I'm going to use this from the Body Shop, which is the Warm Glow Bronze, whatever it's called, the Baked Boop Bronzer, and this is for glow. This doesn't really get any colour on my skin, but it gives me a really nice sheen to my skin. There you go. And then finally, lip Lucas Papal ointment. Where sell use your lips in number thirty, which is the Fabouge Peach, which is there, which you can't see, but it's right there. No, and then my Stila. South Sea Coral Lip Really Baby Bar. There we go. And that is my going out look. I always tend to keep it the same with the eyes, and then I switch my lipstick up as I say I normally go for right here. So, um, how I'm going to edit this down is beyond me, but thank you very much for watching. Um, and I hope you have a nice night. I am going to go and drink. Because I never drink. Bye.